have grey hair, well before I had grey hair, I used to spend an awful lot of time here and every day's fishing used to begin at the fly tying vice. But thankfully these days I'm working with turtles and we're developing flies for people so I don't have to worry so much about it, I can get somebody else to tie them for me. And these are our new river patterns. We've designed these basically to take all the guesswork and all the stress out of fly selection. What we've already tried to do is to get a selection of flies that will work anywhere, any river, anywhere in the world and you can use them with confidence. They're barbless, so they're absolutely dead right for the catch and release philosophy, which is or should be gaining pace all the time. There's a fly for the top of the water, for the middle of the water, for nymphing, and even for deep water fishing. All of that in a very small, very tight selection. You can buy the selection and you don't have to worry that you haven't got the right fly in your box. Go fishing with that box anywhere in the world. As you can see, the river looks lovely, um, nice colour in it, but it's crystal clear. We're going to try a dry fly and move on to emergers. All through the day, we're going to be giving you a few little tips and pointers too. Just a few little things that will help you with your river fishing, wherever you go. And it'll help you enjoy these new patterns that we're producing. Have a look on the website, Torrell's website. You'll get all the details on there. But for the moment, we're about to go fishing. I can't wait. When you're on dry fly, one very, very common mistake that people make is to use too much bloatant. Um, they tend to drown the fly, waterlog it almost with the stuff. You just need a tiny spot on your finger and thumb, pinch it together, tease it into the fibres and structure of the fly, and that's enough. Anything more and you can waterlog it and you can drown it and it's over the Well that's ever size into everything, and how beautiful is that? Classic little camel, wild brownie. Only a very small fish, maybe probably not more than four inches, but beautifully marked. Beautiful fun on ultralight tackle. How nice can it be? You've probably noticed that I'm not actually doing very many false casts, so there's a very good reason for that. Especially on a wild river like this, any amount of false casting, any chance to spook the fish with the fly line flash, eliminate it. Minimal false casting. The same is true on salt water for bass, on rivers, lakes, any situation. If you can minimise false casting, you're spending more time fishing and less time spooking fish with line flash. Good tip when you're wading one of the rivers or any river really like this um, is to use these bank side areas. Obviously you're tight to the bank to keep your profile down and cover. Most important is when wading on the sandy bits here. If I waded through the rocks out there, any movement I make on the rocks is going to transmit itself through the water, scare the fish. Or just wading on the sandy bottom, which can't hear you coming. Good watercraft tip here. We're fishing this bank, as you can see. The far bank we don't ever fish because it uh, keeps everything nice and wild. But if you're actually on any river situation, look for the areas where there's nettles, brambles, rough ground on the far bank. Those are the areas which will hold the fish. They won't be disturbed by passing anglers or passing people. That's the good tip. Watercraft, read the bank, read the inaccessible areas. That's where the fish will be. Well, that's lovely. We thought we'd spook this pool. We'd be uh, doing all our bits and pieces here. And then first cast after we, we'd go and pick up this one, which is our nicest fish of the morning. 
perfect, perfect little fish. Lovely gold flank, beautiful bold red spots. That to me is absolute nature in perfection. Well I hope you've enjoyed your very, very brief trip on the River Camel. We've had half a dozen lovely fish, we've taken them all on the new Turrell's Barbless patterns um, which are coming onto the market very shortly. Look out for them, something for every situation. We've used a mix of dry fly and emerger this morning, but through the summer, through the year, you'll be using the whole range of flies. Um, to me, enjoyment of fishing, beautiful fish like this, beautiful environment, unspoilt, what life's all about. Enjoy your fishing. <laughs>